Yep, yeah, there we go. On. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna do some skinny creek hopping for some bass. We've got Eli and Asher just down the bottom there. They're flicking some spinner baits and some little curly tail grubs. I'm gonna flick my homemade jig, so let's go get some big bass. <laughs> so I'd say I'm throwing a TT Lures number two jig spinner with a 3.5 inch Z-Man grub and I'm running 10 pound s rock leader with a 10 pound braid and Asha here is throwing a little Z-Man grub with a one twelfth ounce jig head. All right, so I'm just throwing a little uh, homemade finesse jig here with a little rattle on it. Just got a 12 pound leader and then 10 pound, um, what do you call this? Braid. Yeah. 10 pound braid. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Let's get some. For like 20 centimeter bass. Nice little fish. Hooked up to another bass. He's got me right in these weeds. like a good fish. There you go. Another really good fish. Such awesome fish. Skinny water bassing at its finest. Really shallow little creek here. Plenty of weeds and cover, and this guy just came out and hammered it. Awesome fish. Unhook him. There you go, second fish of the day. Probably about little. Look at this. Nice fish. Give him the release. There you go, little healthy bass. Zach's hooked up to a little bass. Chuck my phone out. Oh. Is it a good fish? Oh, I don't know. Actually, get in there. Pass as far as you can. Still filming? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that might have been the fish I had but got off. Good little fish. There you go. Nice one on the jig. Caught him in that big um, uh, water area. And yeah, see small fish do catch big lures. So I'll pop them back in and let's get another one. So we've been doing pretty well so far. Uh, it just started raining. We've managed to get a couple of good bass out of this creek here. Uh, the boys are just retying their lures and we're gonna hit another creek just up around the corner here. And Hopefully uh, we can get some bigger bass. I managed to catch a really small one on my 
on my jig here, but I'm looking for those big ones. So we're just fishing in this new spot here and the boys managed to catch um, two bass. So like quiet here. Really? Oh, yep. Oh yeah, it is. So here we go. Just got another one on the jig here. Just uh, casted him in that little deep spot over there and managed to get a nice little 20 centimeter bass. So nice healthy dude. Leaf in his eye. <laughs> there you go. You. So Aussie bass. So Asher just caught another one. We found this little um, U-shaped creek here. It's been performing really well. It's got real deep spots. Managed, I managed to ca catch one already. Asher's already got, I think, two from this spot. It's been pretty good. Very blue water. Cool, cool. So we seem to be getting a lot of really small bass in these creeks here. So I think we're gonna uh, move along and hopefully get some big ones. But it's good to see the numbers are here and there's little little bass in the system. So it's really healthy and they're doing really well. So we'll keep going. All right, so me and Eli just wanted to swap rods just for a couple of casts, just to see what lures were working better. And I managed to get a little small one on his little jig spinner thing here on his on his reel, another little small one. Yeah, it's pretty amazing these little spinners. Do pretty good. So I'll just chuck them back in and we'll keep going. So, never underestimate the size of what a bass would be living in. So, I came here a couple weeks ago and I was catching big bass in really super shallow water and narrower than this actually. So, um, if you see something like this log, for an example, cast your lure out, suck like a jig or a soft plastic, and then drift it down past the log. And if there's a bass there, he'll come out and whack it. And then you're on, so that's a good tip when chasing bass in skinny water. So behind me here is like a, a pretty uh, shallow skinny water creek full of like logs and trees and stuff around it. So what I'll be using is just like a, a finesse jig and what you do is you just skip that along the rocks and you, as you can see, I've hidden the hook uh, on the plastic. So when you go past a, a rock or a log, it won't, won't hit it. And plus those little plastic uh, skirts will just help it uh, brush past it. But all you do is basically uh, chuck it into the snag, possibly actually hitting the log. So it sends like a vibration in the water and let the fish know it's actually there. And then all you have to do is just let it sink to the bottom because those um, claws will actually float and go like that, like a uh, defensive crayfish and all you have to do is just give it a couple of jigs and then hop it along the bottom and then just keep doing that as you retrieve. Probably the best colours for this overcast day for this blue water is probably like greens, browns and like uh, little flecks of red that mimic like a, a real life crayfish. 
cool. So it's roughly about one o'clock now, and the boys and I have just uh, stopped for some snacks. So we've got some sweet chili sour cream chips, got some triple chop temptation cottage cookies, and then we just got some uh, tomato dip there. So uh, it's been a pretty good day. It's still sprinkling, um, but yeah, I think that makes uh, a really good scene for the bass fishing. So. Yeah, it's been it's been a pretty good day. So we're gonna finish these up and we'll keep exploring the creek. So Eli and I just snapped off, um, we're just retying our leaders again, but I thought I'd try these little um, brown, brownie coloured uh, jig that I made not so long ago. So this one's got no rattle, so I'll have to add a rattle to it, but um, yeah, sucks losing lures, but that's what you got to do when you do a bit of creek bashing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little fish of the day. Probably in the low 30s. Healthy little fish. He absolutely smashed a little Z-Man grub. Probably, do you reckon the best fish of the day? Yeah, I'd probably say that, yeah. Yeah. So really nice fish, we'll get some photos and get him back. Did it drop off? Yeah, I'm on. Oh. Yep, on. Yep, I got one. Uh, it's all right. There we go. So I just switched to the the brown coloured um crawl jig and seems to do pretty well. So there we go, another nice one. These uh skinny creek bass are pretty small but they're definitely a lot of fun. So there he is. Now I just chuck him back in the water and let's get another one. This spot is awesome. It's currently uh raining right now. But I think that's what it's turning the bass on. It's pretty amazing how shallow these creeks are and yet bass pull these ones home. So it's pretty amazing. So I changed um, cameras because my big GH4 was getting really, really wet. So I chucked it in my bag and now I'm just running with the GoPro just getting soaked at the moment all this rain but I'm coming up to a really cool spot here it's like a man-made dam type thing with bamboo as you can see the waterfall there it's pretty cool oh my god wow look at this this spot's amazing look at that Yeah, I know. Maybe the bass aren't hitting it because it's right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Did you get one? Is that one? It was one, yeah. Four. All right, just as I was saying, um, it's too rainy to get one. One just hits the lure and runs. There we go, I think it's fifth fish of today on the, the jig. 
Not bad, the boys just come say hello. But... So I just caught one out of the this creek here, this little one, this little creek here. Another smallish bass. If I can pick him up properly. There you go, pretty nice bass. I'll chuck him away. Pretty cool. I love fishing in the rain. It gives you like a different perspective on the on the fish and how to actually target them. Just close up on the structure right here and yeah, nailed it.